You are listening to Dream Boston, a series of audio plays powered by the Huntington Theatre Company. Dream Boston offers glimpses of the future, hopeful, full-hearted, and complex. A vision of our city that is somewhere between dream and reality. Please note that this play contains explicit language. This play is set on Nantasket Beach. The date is July 28, 2024. The title of this play is Best Day Ever. And thank you for being with us this rainy Sunday, July 28, 2024. The heat wave continues today with temperatures in the low to high 90s. There will be a steady rainfall throughout the day and into the evening. Liar, liar. Drive, girl, drive. I can't be wasting all this deliciousness on these What fools. took you so long? I told you we had a short one of sunshine, maybe an hour. It took you forever just to get two cupcakes? Seriously. So, I walk into Whole Foods looking for the cupcakes in this Prada yellow bikini, all eyes lusting after me. And this guy shouts, I hate to tell you, sweetheart, but it's going to rain all day. And then I shouted back, my sister had a vision of the sun coming out. Then everyone is looking at me like I'm a crazy lady. A gorgeous one, no doubt, but crazy. Then I shouted, laugh now, but you'll think of me later. Then this guy said, oh baby, but I'm thinking of you now. (laughs) This nasty ass. (laughs) Then I get in line and realize I forgot the candles. No one was in line, so the cashier said I could run and get them. By the time I get back, there is a Karen yelling at me for holding up the line. And why am I dressed like that? It's raining. (laughs) I ignore her because of the uh, whole ghost writing scandal and I didn't want anybody to recognizing me. Then she said, you people think you own the whole world just because you have a black vice president. I said, lady, it's my birthday and no Karens allowed. Mm. Then I swung my black maxi cover like a cape and I did my best runway stomp out of there and the people in line started whistling and clapping. (laughs) (laughs) 2024 and these Karens are getting worse. Five more miles to Nantasket Beach. Okay, theme song. You're a lion in your own way. Be a lion. Uh, your key was slightly off. Girl, please. <laughs> Happy 51st. <laughs> Happy 50th! <laughs> mm. No traffic, and no one's gonna be there. Plus, sunshine and the party. Bobby might get lucky tonight. <laughs> Three more miles. Okay, okay. People are so happy going out again after that COVID shit. And then I ended up getting it in 2022. Now I go to parties with people I can't stand just to be out. I hardly ever go out. The Rona traumatized me. What time are you and Tim going to get there? Mm, how are you kidding the runners? Finest humans in the land. Love them. Turn, turn. There's McDonald's sign. French fries and chocolate shake. <laughs> so, <laughs> is is Tim the one? Uh, um, we broke up. I mean, he was my COVID boyfriend. I really started getting used to him and opening up more and letting him do more for me and to me. He does this thing that I like just before I. Oh, well, anyways, I like to touch and squeeze his ears. I mean, you know, when he- I get it, I get (laughs) Okay. So on several nights when we had just finished, Mm -hmm. I noticed the funky smell on my fingers. I couldn't even enjoy the moment. I had to get up immediately and wash my hands. Then I'd just be mad for the rest of the night, wishing he would go home. 
I don't understand. It was the back of his ears. Every other part of him smelled delicious, but his ears. I'm mad right now thinking about it. So <laughs> I broke up with him. Mm-mm-mm. I didn't tell him why. I just said we needed to slow down. And he said, thanks a lot for wasting two years of my time. You're stupid. Don't call me stupid. Why could you? I don't do funk, ever. Why couldn't you just tell the man his ears stank? The fact that I would have to tell him made me feel differently about him. Like, you shouldn't have to tell a grown man these things. Yes, you should. Sometimes they don't know. You could have told him and we could be planning a wedding. Okay, wait. <laughs> it's our birthday. Uh, uh, go give me a shake so I can feel better. OMG ain't nothing like McDonald's fries fresh out of the oil. Mmm. Here's your chocolate shake and here's Nantasca Beach. Beach. Oh. <laughs> and the parking lot is just about empty. We have to Damn lady! She's trying to pass you WTF. How many carrots on the loose today? Damn. Let her pass. It's fine. She can pass. Nothing's gonna mess up our day. Hey, we're here. And <laughs> not a soul around except Psycho Karen. But she's way down there. <sighs> this is the perfect spot. True that. Look at the ocean. Even in the rain, it slays my heart. Uh, oh. There's something I've got to tell you. Mm. There's going to be some thunder and lightning. <gasps> no, there isn't. I've listened mm. to the weather report. <gasps> what the fuck? Kenya! You know I hate thunder and lightning. If I told you, you wouldn't have come. <sighs> oh, you know I hate it. Oh, let me get my crystal out. I need my crystal. <laughs> it's only going to last for about seven minutes and then... <sighs> Pour down raining and then sunshine. I can't believe you're back there. Kenya, just because you can talk doesn't mean that you should. Katasia, what did Dad say? The safest place to be in a thunderstorm is in the car. Something about the rubbers on the tires. Dad, where is it? Look, that lady from the car is getting out. She's coming this way. Jesus! She's still coming. Do you have your pepper spray? Unlocked and loaded. The, the windows are all fogged up. I think she's bending down. Do you think maybe she needs help? I hope she didn't pass up. Maybe we should call the police. I have, I have no idea what she's saying. Oh. Hello? Oh. oh, sorry. We can't talk right now. We're about to be struck by lightning or killed by a white woman. If we're still alive, we'll see you tonight at the party. <laughs> the rain is slowing down and I think Karen's gone. Okay. So we have about five more minutes of rain. Let's do best birthday, worst birthday. <laughs> Seriously? Like hundreds of happy birthday wishes to us. Damn, we have a big family. Oh, snap. There's one from Tim. Damn, he looks so good. Okay. Okay. Shake it off. Mm. Mm. Or you could call him and invite him to the party at mom and dad's tonight. Okay. Worst birthday ever. Mm. Okay. I was nine. And I did that horrible tap dance number. Remember? Yep. Dad built you a wooden stage and everything. That tap dance number was really bad. So I can see how it was the worst. 
No, it was what happened after the dance. I went inside to change into my bathing suit and was running up the stairs and Uncle Tank came inside and was like, hey, pretty birthday girl, let your uncle get a kiss. And he leaned in and stuck his tongue in my mouth. Oh my God. And then he tried to rub my flat chest. I sat on the stairs right where his face was and kicked him as hard as I could, right smack dead in his right eye with the top on my shoe. It was bleeding and everything. He yelled so loud, Aunt Carol and Dad came running into the house. Daddy asked me what's wrong and I shouted, he grabbed my chest and then he tried to put his tongue in my mouth. <clears throat> Then mom joined them out front and dad came in and said, baby, you don't ever have to see him again. And that was a good damn kick. No one ever talked about it again. That's why we never see him anymore. I'm sorry that happened to you. Worst birthday for me? was 2022. Now you stayed home because you and the kids had COVID, which you wouldn't have had if you had gotten your vaccine. But no, you and your conspiracy theories. So I came by myself. I parked my car right here. I still wasn't comfortable mingling with people, but I just needed the ocean. And sure enough, too many damn people were here. But the worst part were there were five or six small families spread out across the beach. And they were holding things like a box or what I came to learn were urns. And then I realized they were releasing the remains of their loved ones into the ocean. It freaked me out. I left here thinking I would never come back. But my love for the ocean, the healing it brings, and it is by far my favorite place. And this is why. <laughs> it's like the universe is opening up and letting the sun shine through. That's nothing but God. That's what I just said. <laughs> you know something? Invite Tim to the party. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> right now, I'm jumping in that water. Woo bring the tarp, the blankets and towel. I'll bring the food. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Happy birthday to you. Hi. Hi. Um, I, um, hi. Lady, I don't know what we did to you, but... You... Uh, you didn't do anything. Shoot, I knew I probably should have gone to the police, but I... The police? We haven't done anything wrong! Okay, this is going all wrong. Um... My daughter is in the car, and I need to get back to her. I tried to tell you at McDonald's, but you got in your car so fast, and then I ran over here in the rain, I knocked on the window. More like banged on the window? Scaring us half to death. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare. It was pouring down rain, not to mention thundering and lightning. Why? What did we do? <laughs> this belongs to you. A trash bag. What are you up to? What's What's in there? I believe it's your, um, your handbag. You left it in McDonald's and I just wanted to return it to you. Um, I have to get back to my daughter. I'm sure you have important things in here. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. This is mine. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say. You're so kind to do all of this. Oh God, your daughter's waving at me. Hi, honey. Thank you and your mom. Thank you so much. <laughs> Can I have an address? I would like to send you flowers, wine, or maybe a game for your daughter. <laughs> no, thank you, but it is kind of you. 
it's a shame that we live in a world where returning someone's belongings is a big deal. It's just the right thing to do. I agree. Well, at least tell me your name. Oh, eh, uh, it's Karen. <laughs> 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 so you, you see why I had to do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you, Karen. We all have so much to do. Take care of that lovely child of yours and know this is my best day ever. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> you take care of yourself. <laughs> Are you ever coming in? The water's fantastic! Yes. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Thank you for listening to Dream Boston, where local playwrights imagine locations, landmarks, and their friends in a future Boston when we can meet and connect in our city. Best Day Ever is written by Jackie Parker, award-winning playwright, actor, director, and educator. The play was inspired by Jackie and her friend Donna sharing the same birthday and celebrating every year at Nantasket Beach. Jackie would like to dedicate this play to the late, great Kay Bourne, a lifelong advocate for black theater in Boston. Best Day Ever is directed by Summer L. Williams, sound designed and engineered by Valentin Frank, and line produced by Rosalind Bevan. The play is performed by Ramona Lisa Alexander, Lovely Hoffman, and Becca A. Lewis. To hear more audio plays from Dream Boston and learn more about future productions at the theater, visit HuntingtonTheater.org. The Huntington Theater Company encourages you to support your local theater wherever you may be dreaming. To support the Huntington, please go to our website. Thanks for listening.